Welcome to another episode of the 414, Marquette's source for local and campus news. I'm Caroline Norton. And I'm Emily Krause. Let's get right into your surrounding area news. Many students dressed up in Halloween spirit at the University of Wisconsin football game on Saturday. While most students dressed up in outfits resembling figures in pop culture, two fans might have taken it a bit too far. The fans are in hot water for his costume depicting President Obama in a black and white prison jumpsuit with a noose around his neck. No punishment was given to the man, and he was allowed to stay in the stadium after he removed the offensive parts. UW-Madison released a statement defending the student. This Saturday, join others from the city to explore the foods of Old World 3rd Street. This tour offers authentic German food tastings as well as an opportunity to eat, drink, and socialize your way into newer establishments in the area. The tour will be spanning the Riverwalk and goes from 12 to 3 p.m. Don't miss out on this tasty tour. Marquette Center for Peacemaking received $240,000 from Milwaukee Public Schools to include three additional behavioral reassignment schools to its, program, to its PeaceWorks program. These schools are for students who have been expelled from Milwaukee Public Schools and need another place to learn. The PeaceWorks is a nonviolence education program operating in Catholic and public schools in Milwaukee and Chicago. This program, made for grades 6 through 12, has nearly doubled in size since its start. A new banking program is coming to Marquette University's campus this spring to offer students a glimpse into the field. Currently, Marquette is the only private school in the Midwest to have a banking program in their curriculum. This program will offer nine classes and requires at least two internships. Kelly Brown, chairperson of the banking program, said, quote, We are not training students to be tellers. These students are going to be future bank presidents. The program hopes for 20 to 25 students to be enrolled in the spring semester of 2016. The next movie in MUSG's varsity movie series is the hit comedy, She's the Man. Amanda Bynes stars as a girl who decides to take her brother's place at his boarding school soccer team. Bynes struggles to keep her identity hidden from the team. The movie will be played at the Varsity Theater at 8 p.m. on Friday night and at 8 and 10.30 p.m. on Saturday night. Marquette fans, the time is finally here. Men's basketball returns this Saturday at the BMO Harris Bradley Center as they play to host Rockhurst University. The Golden Eagles look to have a strong season as they have nine returning players from last year. Head coach Steve Wojciechowski has spoken very highly of this team and is ready to possibly make a run in March. And it all starts Saturday. Tip-off is at 1, but get there early to start the season right. Well, that's all we have for you guys tonight. Thank you so much for watching tonight. I'm Emily Krause. And I'm Caroline Norton. Have a great rest of your week, Marquette.